is David from AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to work with themes and styles in FileMaker. Uh, this is uh, getting into design stuff, but um, basically the best way that you can go about designing layouts is by using themes. It makes it really easy. There are a bunch of built-in themes that come with FileMaker, and you can hear, uh, you can see here on this little menu here, there's different ones that you can pick from. Some of these are more useful than others. And uh, there are a good places to start when you're going to start designing your own layouts. Um, I would recommend Minimalist, Minimalist Touch, if you're doing something for iOS. Um, Enlightened is the default. I don't really like it. Um, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it, actually. So let's go. Right now, this layout is using the Enlightened theme you can see up here. Um, you just switch switch um, themes by choosing a new one and now you'll see everything changes uh, to the new theme. And you can see it looks fairly different. Um, what happens is that each of these has a default style and what, over on this uh, palette here you'll see that there's a styles palette and each of these objects has an actual style. On, on this minimalist theme every style is just default. There's only one style for every ob object type. Um, and that's all there is. So if we go back to Enlightened, you'll see that there's actually several different styles over here of fields. And if I change this, now I've got a minimalist field, which basically doesn't show any outlines, and I've got a navigation edit box. So there's different styles you can just apply to objects on a layout. You can select a bunch of them and apply the same style to all of them at once. It's much faster than changing uh, one at a time objects into what you want. So one of the things that makes styles so useful is that you can actually take uh, a style, change it all across your entire layout, and in fact your entire file, uh, and have it applied instantly instead of having to go to every layout and change the style, um, change the look of every field. So I'm going to demonstrate that really quickly. Say we have this field and I decide that I actually want to use a different font um, instead of Arial, let's say I want to use uh, American Typewriter, which is a little weird. But now we see that this font here, um, you'll see in the style here that this navigation edit box is the style that I've used. And now you'll notice that this little arrow is red. That means I've made a change to this style. If we go over to this one, it's black. That means that this only has the styles, and this is basically cascading style sheets, um, CSS. Uh, so that's just storing information about how to draw this thing. This one has had some custom CSS created, some custom styles added to it. If I click on this, I can actually save this as a new style, or I can save the changes to this current style. And if I save the changes to this current style, everything else on this layout that uses that style will also change. So we can see that demonstrated now. I just saved it, and now every single field on here is using the new font way easier than actually going to all of them. Um, now here's where the real strength lies. Notice now that the theme has a little asterisk up here and this has red. That means that we've made changes to a, a style in this theme, the enlightened theme. Uh, if I save changes back to the theme, then this change we've made to this field, this style, will uh, be applied to any layout in this entire file that uses this theme. So this is actually really powerful and also a little bit dangerous. If you make a change to something that you really just want it to apply to this layout only and not like everything, then you don't want to save back to here. In fact, what we would want to do is maybe change this uh, style back to Arial. And instead of saving the style, we actually make a new style. So let's save that one. This is basically reverting us back. And we go save changes to current style, and now we can see that they're all reverted back. Um, now if I save changes to theme, it's not going to really change anything. However, if I want to take one of these, and let's say we want to make some changes to this one in particular, and on this one is the one we want, American Typewriter. And we actually want the, it to be in bold um, and italicized. Uh, which is, again, a little weird, but let's say we actually want to make it um, 18 point as well. So this is now 
uh, a pretty distinct style. And now what we can do is we can call this save as new style. And this will we'll call whatever we want, really. What I like to do in the naming of styles is name it first the point size. So this is 18 point, and then we'll name it 18 point navigation edit box, and maybe we'll name the font. So we don't want to get too crazy, but let's, uh, let's rename this. Save as, whoops, sorry, save as new style. And it's called 18 point. And the reason to, that I use uh, the point size first is for sorting so that you can see the different sizes that you have um, because that's sort of the most important choice you can make about a particular style um, is the point size because, of course, we have hierarchical design where you put large type at the top and left, smaller type down and to the right. So 18 point um, minimal text box. Etc. We can really name this whatever we want. Um, now, if I save changes to the theme, it warns us because this will apply to all layouts using this theme. If I hit save and I go to, say, some other layout, and if we um, look at the Enlightened theme here, and we choose one of these, now you can see that 18 minimal text boxes is available to use on this layout. Um, and that's kind of the strength of styles and themes. You can create new styles. Once you save it back to the theme, it's available to every other layout that uses that. Now, I'm going to demonstrate something else here, which is how to import a new uh, style, a new theme, sorry. So if you go to the Manage menu and you go Manage uh, Themes, you'll see here's all the themes that are used on any layout and that are in this file. So if we want to add new ones, we're going to go import. Um, and in this case, we're going to import from a hosted file uh, it's called the AppWorks theme. This has actually got a number of themes in it, styles and themes um, that we use on the regular. But uh, I'm going to bring in one specifically that we have available actually to download on our website. So if you go to our store on, our, on the app.works website, you can actually download these two, More Enlightened and More Enlightened Dark. These are two themes that I built that are basically uh, replacements for the Enlightened theme because I don't really like this the default Enlightened theme. So just to show you how this works, let's make all of these default, the default style. So that's back to normal. And now we save that, and now we have access to these custom ones we've built. You'll notice that the ones we've changed here, this is the original Enlightened um, one that came with FileMaker. This is the one we've now made edits to. This is more Enlightened, and this is the theme that I built as a replacement, so it should swap in directly and change, change everything to the new style. And in fact, there's also a dark mode that I built called more Enlightened Dark. And we can switch it out, and now we've got a whole new layout. It uses the same style names and as long as you use the same style names, it'll swap right in. Um, the place you run into trouble is if you have things that are named differently. And th then FileMaker has to make a decision about what style to use for something that it doesn't have a name for in the new theme that you've imported. So it just will run everything to default. And then you'll have these little red triangles on everything, and you'll have to make a choice about what style you want each of these things to use. Um, so that's about all I really have to show. The reason to use themes and styles is because it saves you a ton of time when you're making design decisions to apply those new decisions to the rest of your layouts and throughout the rest of your file. So if a client says, well, we want to use a new font or we want a new color scheme, you can en masse th do things like change the header um, to a different color and then every Thing that uses that header is going to change to that color. You don't even have to make a change. Um, you can actually add things like logos to your theme. So, for example, we have, um, well, I don't actually have it. Um, but you can, you can save colors, you can save uh, shapes, and you can save line weights and padding, uh, fonts, alignment. All of these things can actually be saved in a style um, and be useful again and again. And uh, that's about it. I would highly encourage you to use themes and styles all the time.
So uh, hopefully you'll watch some more videos, and hopefully you'll uh, start using some themes from our, our store if you want to go to our website and download some free.